I'm here with OnPost Money, where I'm going to be working with five leaders as they try to improve their overall financial fitness. We're going to be talking about budgeting and we're going to be helping the guys set out some goals. And you're an OnPost Money customer as well. I am indeed, yeah. yeah. So you have and I'm that. actually thinking of closing my bank account and just using the OnPost. Yeah, I'm surprisingly not overwhelmed um, at all, which I thought I'd be like, oh. I think OnPost have a more family oriented you're kind of out for someone like myself and Sue and the three kids. I'd always recommend trying to put some of your own cash or savings before borrowing, but I'm conscious you don't want to lose all your life savings or kind of use them. And you're right, you need to have a decent size of emergency funds, especially with three kids and one income coming in. You need a big buffer, you know, should yeah. something go wrong. What I really wanted to get across today with our discussion was to make sure that that is not affecting you in any way and that it's 100% okay. You know, it's, it's something that everybody battles nearly at some stage once they're having kids. Priority is saving for the mortgage. Great. The, then second is the wedding. Yeah. And then overall, just we want to be better at money management. And okay. Budgeting. It's very important that you write down what you're planning to do as a couple. Not enough that a couple sit down and actually write down their financial goals. I think there's something you'll really benefit from because you've got a really good savings habit. Join us as we follow the journey over six months.